As you work in Excel, you might create a worksheet that has sensitive data in it, and you do not want to have this data seen by others. You can hide rows and columns and even an entire worksheet to help solve this problem. You can hide data by using the Format option found in your ribbon under the Cells group on the Home tab. When you select the Format option, notice that in the Visibility area of the drop-down menu, you have Hide and Unhide. And within the sub-menu that appears when you select Hide and Unhide, you can choose Hide Rows, Hide Columns, or hide the worksheet. Also note you can unhide rows and columns as well as the entire worksheet within this submenu. So let me demonstrate this. I'll go ahead and select column C and then by coming up here to my format option in my cells group on my home tab of my ribbon I can select that and pull down to hide and unhide and then because I have selected a column I will go ahead and choose hide columns and that will cause column C to collapse within itself and notice that up here on your column headers it goes from B to D indicating that column C has been hidden also note that there is a thicker line or borderline between these two column headers indicating that column C is hidden. In reality what has happened here is column C has been reduced in its column width to zero as its measurement. Now to unhide this simply select column B and D so you select the surrounding columns that surround the hidden column and then come up here again to your format option select that and pull down to hide and unhide unhide columns this will cause column C to be visible again now you can do the same thing with rows let's say I wanted to hide multiple rows I'll go ahead and select the rows that I want to hide and here I want to hide rows 3 through 10 so I have them all highlighted then to just show another technique for hiding and unhiding let me right click within the highlighted area and notice that from my shortcut menu I have unhide as well as hide. I'll go ahead and choose the hide command causing all of those rows to collapse within themselves and notice again on my row headers I go from row 2 to row 11. To unhide these rows simply select the two rows and then right click within that area the highlighted area and choose unhide. This will cause all the rows to reappear. Now you can also hide an entire worksheet and to do that you want to make the worksheet active that you would like to hide. So let's say I wanted to hide this worksheet. Again I will come up here to my format option, select it, pull down to hide and unhide and then choose the hide sheet command. When I select that the entire worksheet now disappears or is hidden. To bring it back, you simply need to come down here to your worksheet tabs, right click on any one of them to access your shortcut menu and choose unhide. This will cause the unhide dialog box to appear and within this dialog box you have a list of all the worksheets that you have hidden. Notice that I only have one worksheet hidden so I only have one item in my list. Simply select that item and then choose OK and your worksheet will come back. Go ahead and take a moment and practice hiding and unhiding columns, rows, and worksheets. If you'd like to open the spreadsheet that you see on my screen right now, you can do that by opening up class under slash exp4 which you will find in your chapter 06 folder which is in your class folder for Excel 2007. So spend some time, practice a little bit with these commands. Remember you can choose from the format option in your cells group on your home tab or you can right click to access the shortcut menu and choose hide and unhide for hiding rows, columns, and worksheets. When you are finished, please move on to the next movie.